beautiful people get ready with me to install this new human hair that i got online I already opened it and yeah, I know. I wanted to open it with you guys, but it's not too late. I mean, this is the only part that's open. So I'm really excited. It's currently 9 p.m. and it's a Friday night. I'm not actually going anywhere, but I do plan on going out tomorrow. So I thought it would be wise to install the hair today and not have to worry about it tomorrow. Also, I'm excited to find out if, you know, I would be returning the hair or keeping it because the last time that I got human hair was from Amazon and I, I'm not sure if I liked it I kept it but I wouldn't say it was the best hair that I had gotten but I kept it so I tried a new vendor this time not from Amazon so I'm excited to you know compare and see if this one is better than the previous one I got from Amazon so it comes in this bag right here it's a 36 inches hair um, um, so let's also find out if it is true to length because sometimes they say 36 inches and it's not up to 36 inches so i hope this time it is oop, oop, okay things are falling so it comes with this and i think the color is really nice it's not too light because sometimes the wig cap they usually send is like really really light and i'm a black girl so and this is what it looks like it also comes with one more thing it fell let me pick it up it also comes with this which is really nice i've never received a hair with a beauty blender before it usually comes with uh, a wig cap and eyelashes this is the hair I'm just gonna take off this net so we can properly see the hair this is what it's looking like okay it doesn't smell bad i've uh heard a lot of reviews i've never experienced it but i've read a lot of reviews that people buy human hair and then when they receive it it smells so bad i don't know if it's because of the storage or wherever the hair was stored or whatever but this one doesn't smell bad i do think it's true to the length but i'm not sure i would compare it to the hair that i have the previous hair that i got was 30 inches i will get that one and try to compare it with this one and see uh which one is longer this one is supposed to be longer because this one is 36 so uh we'll do that in a second but i do like the fact that this one comes with this band this is really nice to really secure the hair because i'm not a fan of this you see this pins or whatever i don't like this at all like whenever i try to use these uh pins to secure my wig it always causes me to have a headache throughout the day like just the feeling of something poking through my scalp is just annoying and it gives me a headache so i'm happy that this one has this and it's also detachable so you can also detach it right here if you don't want it but i will not be doing that because i like it i do wish this one was detachable though but i think i can also like use like a scissors to cut it out and for the lace let's see okay i don't think the lace is too thick this is what the lace looks like the edges I don't think it's too thick because most times the lace is like so thick that no matter how you try to like lay it flat you can still see how fat it looks so this one doesn't feel thick and it doesn't look thick so i mean only time will tell once we install it and find out but i really love the volume of the hair i don't remember how many um what do they call it the density i don't remember what the density was and they didn't put it on the package but i'm i'm assuming that the density was 200 or 250 so i think this is a 250 density 36 inches uh deep wave so now let me quickly grab the other hair that i got from amazon that was 30 inches and try to compare the length with this one so this was the previous hair that i got from amazon this one was 30 inches or is still 30 inches and the reason why i said i didn't like this one so much is because i just feel like it's not as full as i would like it to be i really like full hair i like hair that can cover my face 
I don't know why, it's just preference. So that was the main reason why I didn't like it so much. But apart from that, it's a really nice hair. It's supposed to be a bone straight. <laughs> I guess I would have to like straighten it for it to, you know, be what it's supposed to be. So now let's compare the length with this one. Which one is longer? Now, mind you, this one's a curly hair. This one is naturally a straight hair. So obviously this one may not be as long because you might have to like stretch it out because the curls it makes it look shorter than it actually is so just stating that because it might come into play in verifying the length just gonna hold both of them by by the edges this is the old one and this is the new one so the new one is obviously longer this is the new one that i'm holding so i'm stretching it out because it's a curly hair so this is the actual length and this is the new this is the old one and i'm also stretching it out although it's already straight but you can obviously see that the new one is longer so i guess it is true to length it is actually 36 inches and the old one is 30 inches now disclaimer guys i am not totally into like hair and beauty products and all of that like i don't totally know how to do all those things i try my best so the reason why i'm stating that is just because in the course of the video i might not be doing the typical things or i might not be using the typical product for the hair or whatever so just so you know and i don't know if i'm supposed to use this brush because it's a curly hair so i don't know if using this brush would remove the curls or help the curls but this is the brush that i have and this is the brush that we would use i'm just not gonna brush it too much just brush it enough now that we have reviewed the hair what are we what are we gonna give the hair on a scale of one to ten ten being the highest so i think i would give it an eight an eight out of ten i think or an 8.5 okay enough said about the hair let's move on to installing the hair okay it's been a while i did this guys it's been a while i actually like officially like installed my wig i normally just put it on like glue less it's been a while i like did the whole glue and everything i hope i still remember how to install a wig guys ouch disclaimer my head is about to look like a potato so enjoy the view i think i'm supposed to glue it before i cut it right i'm not sure guys oh i didn't even show you guys the products that i'm using i guess i'll show you guys as i'm using them so i'm gonna be using the got to be glue <laughs> i always close my eyes when i'm doing this guys because i don't want glue in my eye okay guys so i just finished cutting off the lace glue rather i just finished gluing on the lace and then cutting off the lace and this is what it's looking like but i think i did a pretty good job for someone who hasn't laid a wig since this year started i don't think i have i might be wrong but i don't remember doing that this year and we're currently in the eighth month in the year so for eighth good month i haven't done this i'm happy that i still know how to do it to an extent now i'm gonna go ahead to um put on my ghost bond now i have had this ghost bond for two years hopefully it's still bonding <laughs> and i think i got it from amazon two years ago or probably even more no i think three years ago i think i got this in 2021 so it's been three years so i've had this for three years and this is to tell you that i don't do this regularly the fact that this is not finished it's amazing it doesn't even feel empty it feels like it's like here like in the middle so impressive i'm impressed with myself so we're gonna put this just on my edges oh yeah it's still it's still working i thought it was gonna be dried but it's not it's not dried i'm really happy I'm done drying the glue this was the best i could do i just got tired it's a little bit dry but i know you're supposed to wait till it's dry to the point where it looks clear like you can no longer see 
the white in the blue it just looks transparent i tried to wait but it's just taking forever and it's currently 10 p.m so i'm trying to speed up this process because i still need to go to the gym this night and also get a good night sleep so this is what the glue is looking like like i said you can still see the white part i know you're not supposed to but it's still going to stick okay it's still going to bond so now it's time to put on the wig now this is the part that usually scares me because i have to make sure it is centered properly because once the glue touches the wig it's usually hard to take it off and try to like readjust it because it gets messy and you know how glue can can be messy i have to be very careful okay I'm usually scared in this part, guys. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I can't mess this up. Hold on, my hair is coming out. Why? Okay, let's try this again, guys. I cannot mess this part. Oh no, oh no, oh no. I think I messed up. Did I? I hope I did not. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> I'm laughing at myself, guys. Okay, okay. Now let's make sure it's at the center. So we have to use the lace to measure to be sure that it is at the center before we stick it onto the glue. I feel like it is at the center, so I'm just going to move it forward right here. I don't want to see the white part of the glue. Okay, okay. I think I did it, guys. <gasps> did I do it? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Guys. This is the part I do not like. Oh, it stresses me out so much. I'm gonna try to put the hair in a bun just because I feel like it's getting all over the place and it's affecting me. Okay, let's make sure we like the way it is before we press it down onto the glue. I think I like the way it is. I think, I th oh, no, I don't like it. <laughs> guys this part stresses me i am laughing but guys i am stressed i laugh when i'm stressed sometimes it's called my nervous laughter see i don't like the fact that i can see the glue guys you see you can clearly see the glue there i don't like that okay guys nah 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 we're going to try to get rid of this white because it's showing from the lace so i'm just going to wipe a little bit of this glue off so I have alcohol on this um, cotton wool. So I'm just going to wipe off a little bit. Oh guys, this was going so well. It was going so well. Okay, I'm gonna try to remedy this situation to the best of my abilities. And I would get back to you guys and show you guys what I was able to do. Hopefully I'm able to do something, but I'll get back to you guys. Woo, okay guys. It was a roller coaster, but I think I did something. <laughs> we would find out once I take this band off. So basically I went through a bunch of cotton wools. You can see that they're sticky. They're sticky because I had to wipe off the glue or the bond, but I couldn't wipe it off completely. See, see how sticky they are? See how sticky they are? Cause they're, they're all filled with bond. So I couldn't wipe off the bond completely because that's just not possible. Once you put it, you can't fully take it off unless I would have to take off the wig cap and start afresh with a new wig cap and it's 10 p.m. That's just not something I am trying to do this night. So I wiped off um, as much as I could and then I sprayed some got to be glue on it just since there is little to no glue left so i had to supplement with this just to hold it down and then i added this oops and then i added this um this band to hold it in just so that it stays and dries and sets guys this lace is long see how long it is it literally looks like a veil like like a wedding veil like dun, 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 dun. you may now see the bride like <laughs> like the lace is that long so I can't wait to cut it off as well but first of all i'm just going to use my hair dryer to dry the glue and then we can go to the next step 
I really, really hope that I did not mess it up, guys, because honestly, I winged it. I completely winged it. Don't do this at home, guys. Please do not do this at home, okay? Don't have a scissors that close to your face, especially your eyes. Okay guys, I did not fully cut off the lace. I didn't cut off this side pieces just because I feel like it would be better for me to do that once I take off this band and cut accordingly. You know, once you cut, you can't put it back, but you can carefully cut out. For now, we're gonna style the hair. We're gonna be using the Shine and Jam Magic Fingers setting mousse this is what i'm going to be using oh <laughs> i always like the way this thing comes out oh i think i took too much i think i took too much guys i don't even know why i'm putting mousse like guys i'm not going anywhere this night wouldn't it be better for me to put the mousse tomorrow when i'm actually going out look at the difference no mousse mousse <laughs> Okay, let's do this part. I'm not gonna put too much this time. Just gonna gradually put it. I'm gonna add some more. I really like this mousse, guys. I think it's way thicker than the one I used before. I used to have a mannequin head back in Nigeria that I normally use to like um, style my wigs before I put them on my head. But when I moved to the US, for some reason I didn't bring it because I felt like it was just going to be extra load for no reason and i said i was going to buy a new one when i came here and i've been here now for three years no mannequin head <laughs> i didn't buy i didn't buy anything again i like how long it is <laughs> i like long and full hair guys i think that oops i think that's good enough guys do you brush it when you put mousse guys it's been a while i did this so what are we thinking guys should we do a side part a center part or no part at all i mean i don't think no parts at all is an option honestly <laughs> because trust me i'm going to put a part somewhere guys i decided to go for a side part because i did the center part and i just did not like the way it was looking so now i'm gonna stick the flyaways with my wax stick i think i've also had this wax stick for three years i think i bought this in 2021 as well so another sign that i don't do this regularly because tell me why this stuff is still full <laughs> but guys yeah let's do this i probably need to do this more often it's just that it takes too much time i don't know how people find the time to do this every single time like i'm already tired just doing this one like i'm already looking at the time it's almost Ill what am i saying almost it's 11 p.m it's 11 p.m and my mates are sleeping and i'm doing what laying a wig you know it's just i don't know i guess it's what girls do i need to be more i don't know i don't know <laughs> i don't know what i need to be more like but i'm doing it today that's what matters so now that we have the flyaways laid i'm gonna use my hot comb to like melt the wax okay guys the hot comb is hot this it's really hot guys oh i think i just burnt my head oh that was painful okay let's not do that again be more careful now Oof. guys ah! <laughs> guys this stuff is really hot let me reduce it i think i put it too high it is oh it is burning i definitely put it too high okay I, I just reduced it so hopefully it shouldn't burn me anymore okay i think that doesn't look bad doesn't look perfect but we're not going for perfect we're going for normal we're going for normal guys i think it's time for us to take out the band and this is the moment of truth guys time to find out if i messed up the edges i would be so pissed but knowing that i cannot do anything i would still just console myself <gasps> guys did i mess it up did i mess it up i don't think i did guys i don't think i messed it up I'm gonna put the hair back in a ponytail just so i can 
really look at the edges. Okay, I think it's time to cut these edges and I think I'm going to have to do the, the part again because yeah, we didn't get this part. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do now. Okay guys, so I adjusted the parting right here. I think it looks good and also I trimmed the lace but this particular one here just gave me a hard time so I just left it because I don't have time <laughs> but this is what the edge is looking like I think I did really good I'm really proud of myself this is pretty much what the hair looks like so far I think I like it <laughs> I think I like it so yeah guys what do you think should I do baby hairs or not I'm thinking I, I like how simple it is but at the same time I feel like it might just be too simple and maybe just one baby hair would not hurt but I already love the way it looks right now <laughs> I like how it looks guys yeah I'm feeling myself so yeah we're almost done I'm gonna put some concealer here and then I might do the baby hair I might not so tomorrow when I'm going out that's when I would like add more moves and maybe style it a little if I want to or I might just leave it like this but I think I think I like it okay guys we're done for tonight um I'm yet to put the concealer on the on the part but I feel like I'm gonna do all that tomorrow at this point I am exhausted I have completely used my energy for today and i need to get some rest because i need to wake up early for the plans that i have tomorrow i'm really excited for the plans that i have tomorrow guys ah, i cannot wait i have a thrilling adrenaline pumping activity to do tomorrow so i would need all the energy that i can get so i need to get some rest i think we have you know done really well with the hair for today it took us three hours guys okay not completely three hours like two hours 30 minutes to do all of this uh it is currently what's the time guys it's currently 11 46 p.m i am not going to be able to go to the gym this night anymore it's almost 12 a.m but let me know what you guys think about the hair do you like it did I do a good job? So the hair was already pre-plucked, which is really, really nice. And you almost cannot even see the lace. You have to really come close to my face to see the lace. Thank you for watching and sticking around with me. I hope you have enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to smash on that thumbs up button. Like this video, guys, because guess what? Whenever you click on the thumbs up button, it really helps the video with the whole YouTube um, algorithm. It really, really helps the video. So please do click on the thumbs up button so that this video can be helped. <laughs> and leave a comment for me in the comment section down below. Let me know what you thought about the hair. Do you like it? Let me also know what you thought about my wig laying skills <laughs> do you think i can do better or do you think i'm doing just fine let me know and subscribe if you're not yet subscribed to the channel join this amazing family we're growing we're learning we're figuring things out as we go this is a channel where we are a family we share everything on this channel i literally show you guys everything on this channel so you guys are the first to know everything that goes on in my life so guys subscribe join this amazing family where we are open so i added uh this to the hair i just found out that i still have this i bought this in 2021 i was looking for my foundation to put on my um on on the part and i couldn't find a foundation and then i found this and i was like wait a minute i still have this it's only it's only gone here like like tell me how but this is really nice guys really really nice it smells great and also it gives your hair like that shine it's basically called glossing hair polish it's basically the olive oil glossing hair polish which is really nice so i just rubbed a little on top right here because i wasn't trying to do too much but tomorrow 
um, before I go out, I would rub some more on the hair. So just wanted to show you guys that because I don't think I showed it when I rubbed it. But yeah, thank you for watching the video. I love you guys so much. Like when I say it, I mean it. When I say it, I mean it. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for watching my videos consistently commenting thank you for engaging with my videos i see those of you that engage with my videos and let me just tell you guys a secret i am planning on doing a giveaway real soon so i'm 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 keeping tabs on the people who are you know engaging with my videos with the comments with the likes i'm i'm like keeping tabs so when i am you know ready to do the giveaway i already have some people on my list that i plan on you know saying thank you to with my little giveaway so just so you know so if you haven't been engaging with the videos this might just be the time for you to start so yeah thank you love you bye